I had lipstick all in my teeth the entire video. So be good. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that don't know, my name is Brenda and happy belated new year. It is January 10th. I know I'm a little like a week behind, but I have the flu the first week of the year and every single time I have tried to record this video, something happens. Like I literally just got done recording it and I was out of focus the entire time. Then, like, okay, y'all don't even care, whatever. Happy New Year, what is up, you guys? Oh, I'm excited for what this year has to bring, but I thought it was only fitting to start off the year by telling a little story time of something that happened to me two hours into the year. And I don't know, it was just crazy. Like, I was in disbelief the entire time that it was happening, for real. But before I do get into the video, make sure you go ahead and subscribe because it would mean the world to me, as well as go ahead and leave me a like or comment while you're down there letting me know. And yeah, that's about it. So let's get into the video. Okay, so this story takes place on fucking New Year's Day at like 2 a.m. And my friend Jesse and I were at a New Year's Eve party and we got hungry, so we left to go to Whataburger. And, uh, and once we get there, like, it is full as hell. Like, the line is wrapped around the entire restaurant. So we're like, mm, let's just go inside, you know, because inside it looked a lot less crowded than the drive through that's for sure so we park we go inside we order our food with like this nice little cashier and we go sit down in a booth waiting for our food to be ready so shortly after like we sat down i noticed that the cashier i guess had just gotten off and like her and some of her friends went and sat down at a booth and a little bit after they sat down the guy running out food runs her out a bag of food and like she pulls it out and it's literally medium fries so as like the guy that was running up the food goes to give the cashier her food he has to pass this couple and they are intoxicated as hell and they're just sitting there waiting for their food i'm assuming so when he's turning around to go back into the kitchen he, the drunk guy is like are you kidding me i've been here waiting forever for my food and she just sat down she's already getting her food like talking a little loudly you know and once like the girls hear that because they're sitting right here. The guy's sitting on the other side, so they're right there. As soon as they hear him getting loud, they're like, oh no, we don't deal with drunk people. Like, fuck this, we're leaving. So they get up and leave. And the guy that was running out the food is like asking him like, okay, like, do you have your receipt so I can see everything that was on your order, blah, blah, blah. And the drunk guy's like, my order number is 47. You should be able to find it with just my order number. And like this entire time, like his wife, girlfriend, whatever, is like sitting there looking for the receipt. She's like, yeah, I can't find it. And the guy running out the food is like, okay, like just give me a moment. I'll see what I can do to like, you know, to kind of rush out your food. He goes back in, whatever, five minutes go by. Like, I swear it was like five minutes. And the drunk guy just... 47 my number is 47 i don't understand why you can't find my order with my order number like and at that point he like started getting up and like walking over to the register yelling at the people like oh um, i have been to whataburger plenty of times in the middle of the night and there is always a nosy security guard in there but when we need him where is he at I swear, as soon as I thought that, like, the security guard literally stood up. Like, I turned and he's walking towards the guy. I'm like, well, finally. And he's walking up to him. He's like, hi, you know, like, happy new year, sir. Thank you so much for, you know, cooperating with us. I hope you're having a great new year, whatever. And he's like, uh, what seems to be the problem? And the, guy, the drunk guy is like, I've been here over an hour waiting for my food and it's still not out here. People keep getting their food that have come here after me and, like, all the stuff and the security guard you know is just trying to calm him down like okay sir like i understand you know they're working on getting your food out all this stuff i'm like it's like a water burger it's new year's eve new year's day did you see the line outside like obviously it's gonna take a little bit you know like what and so um like while he's like disputing with the security guard the guy comes out with the food and he, the drunk guy snatches it out of his hands like looking through it and the officer's like okay so see now you got your food like now you can go whatever so they're walking out of the restaurant and all you hear is this dumb blonde lady just say, why would you wait over an hour for your food? That's stupid. Y'all, this couple was, the intoxicated couple was literally like 
one foot out the door they were about to leave like th that dumb lady like I don't know why she had to say that for real like just to antagonize them even more you know so as soon as the intoxicated lady heard her say that she uh, turns around says excuse me and the other lady's like I'm just saying why would you wait over an hour to say something about your food why wouldn't you say something I don't know 58 minutes ago maybe <laughs> y'all like the drunk lady started getting so fucking mad and she started like yelling at her like you know trying to pick on a fight and the officer like when he saw that he like walks up to her and he's like ma'am i think it's in your best interest to just go like you already got your food just ignore her just go you know he, she was like yeah you're right i don't have time for that stupid <laughs> anyways and like she walks out of the restaurant i'm sitting there like oh i was like okay whatever like at least they're finally gone you know it's the end no so the drunk lady walks out but her husband is still standing inside of the restaurant right by the door so it's the door the husband the security guard and as soon as like his wife walks out of the restaurant he turns around and looks at the security guard and he's like i think it's in your best interest to not tell me what to do you need to take your he insulted him i don't remember exactly what he said but he was like you need to take your some some looking ass back over there and like i was sitting there like Cause he was like loud and like pushing on the officer so i was like oh my like this is really happening like this is really about to pop off like three feet away from me and so like at that point like the officer obviously had had it you know so like he like robs him like by the shirt you know and, like pushes him out of the restaurant and like he had his mace in his hand i don't know when he got that hoe in his hand but he quick he had it in his hand and as soon as they step out of the restaurant like the door closes behind them and like jesse and i can still see and hear everything we're right by the door we have the glass doors we have the glass window like we have front view it was like a live episode of cops honestly so um as soon as like they step out the officer's like don't fuck with me and like has his mace up you know and like i guess once they saw the mace they were like oh we're not trying to get maced so they left and like the officer comes back in and everyone's like clapping and like oh like thank you sir you know whatever and he was like oh you know i just had to show them who was in charge like blah 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 i'm like boy if you do not like i felt bad because the security guard was like kind of like an older man but you know he held it down like he kept his cool afterwards like when his adrenaline came down i'm assuming like he was in there like shaking with his cup like while he was talking to us and that's when i felt bad i was like damn you know but whatever he had he had the situation under control so so that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to go ahead and subscribe or leave me a comment letting me know also go ahead and leave me any video suggestions or story times that you guys would like to hear because i'm all for it <laughs> i hope you guys have an amazing day amazing week and i'll see you guys in my next video bye y'all